Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a quick little project share slash VR. I don't know if she's even doing VRs, but this is for Elaine, who is Scrap and Craft Queen here on YouTube. She is hosting a little challenge giveaway and you had to make an embellishment box and two Christmas embellishments. Um, it has to be Christmas theme and she prefers pastels. So that's what I did. I used the new Simple Stories Feeling Frosty collection. It's got a lot of um, purples, which I don't work with, which was fun to use since I don't normally use it, if that makes sense. I have this little, um, I didn't have any of the Dollar Tree ones. So I have this little embellishment box from Daiso Japan. It's like a clear acrylic and it snaps closed on the front. So for the front, I just um, like cut a little square down and, and rounded the edges and used some gold stitching. And then I was finally able to use my fun, these are like little fat reindeer in pastel yumminess. These are from AliExpress. I didn't make a mix, I just put all those little guys um, in there with some tool on top and then I did go ahead and use the starburst eye woohoo finally used it I just got it like a couple weeks ago I used the biggest of the two to like layer it in silver in the background and then this um layering stitched merry christmas right here I did use the feel and frosty paper in the background and then I did a this is from joann's it's like a they're like flat 12 by 12 cardstock sheets of paper but they have a little bit of like some glitter pieces on there. It's not like crazy glitter. I wouldn't call it glitter. But I had some of that in my stash, so I just layered it in that. And then I literally have my haul from Rhoda, who is the Happy Little Corner on Instagram. And I used all those fun little felty snowflakes. Some peeping, you know, pink, blue, white, and a blue one right here. Very fun. I did go ahead and stitch across. Inside, I just did a little sticker. I did some pom poms. Fun, like. Christmas stash charm. Some frosted little beads right here. These little charms are little gingerbread houses in pink from Allie. These little gingerbread are from Allie. These little tassels, I did silver, white, and gold. They're like a tinsel. These are from Hobby Lobby Clarence. They were like came on like a pack and then with other colors. These, I got these from Rhoda Shop. Little white glittery snowflakes. Same with these little candy beads super cute um these guys are from Allie. they're little pink velcro which you could use on your projects cute little beads these are from michael's they're from rota shop tiny little pink christmas tree buttons and then these are some bows which were um like stickers so there's purple pink and mint in there and the box this this piece does come out so i just put some um those crepe paper glitter rosettes that april sells i put them in here and put some little faux snowballs these are from uh, hobby lobby but they have they're like furry so they look like real little snowballs it's super fun and cute and then this just snap close as you can see the two layers on there so that is my embellishment box and then if you guys have dies like this these are from andy's store this one's like a squarish oval same with this one but it has like teardrop scallop detail on it i feel like you could use these as your backing piece for like embellishments like if you're not into card making so i just cut the the oval teardrop shaped one and put this little like fruit cake on there this die i don't remember if it's from ks craft or klyp when it first came out so i'm like time to give those embellishments away you know not just hold on to them this little gnome is from andy's store as well so I backed them on the like the oval shape one and I did go ahead and stitch in silver all the way around and added some little um, of those little faux snowballs as well to the packaging just to make it more fun. So embellishment box to embellishments is what you have to send. Um, I will leave Elaine's information down below. I'm pretty sure you have until November 30th and then she's picking a winner on November or December 6th because she extended it. You can find that information on Instagram. All right, that is everything for today and I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.